The surge of the Omicron variant is causing some in Missouri public service agencies to lose employees. Thanks for joining us tonight at six. I'm Molly Stawanoga in for Deborah and Lucas tonight. ABC 17's Joshua Blount is live outside the Columbia Police Department. Now, Joshua, what did they tell you when you spoke with those agencies earlier today? Yes, Molly. Those agencies, those agency, agencies said they are working, pulling all the resources together to get things done and keep things moving on a on a smooth pace. CPD is not the only agency feeling the pandemic pressures. Ben Cornelius, director of marketing for Boone Health, says it's always been hard to hire staff, but the pandemic made it harder because some workers, causing some workers to get burnt out or choose to retire early. Cornelius says they currently average up around 40 COVID positive patients per day and seeing more than 60 staff members out per day with exposure or positive tests. Jefferson City Fire Department tells me Jefferson City Fire Department Jefferson City Fire Department tells me its situation is different and it has been able to hold on to its staff despite some despite some challenges COVID has caused for them. Jason Turner, Division Chief for Jefferson City Fire Department says they had a few bumps they are going to power through. We, we uh, employ community service aides, uh, which are semi-sworn people who can investigate um, traffic crashes, um, uh, property damage, um, theft, stuff like that. And Jeff Pitts with the Columbia Police Department says they will continue to work and help. They will continue to work and use their community aids when needed in certain situations. For now, reporting live from Columbia, Joshua Blount, ABC 17 News. All right, thanks, Josh. Now, Columbia Police say anyone who is interested in becoming an officer can go to como.gov backslash police to find information on employment.